everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part three of my sticker collection, sticker storage um, series. And so today this is my last video showing you my sticker collection and in the next video I'm so excited for, I will be showing you my new sticker storage and hopefully be setting it up on camera for you all. So let's just get started. I have five mini binders so the first or the, the video that's previous to this one was mini binders that were shop specific so these five binders are just organized by shop I'm just gonna get started but I'm gonna remove all these um, out of the way so that it's easier to show you and I get questions um, about how long I've been collecting stickers and I think it's been about a year now and the very first shops that I ordered from were Cricut Paper Co, um, Ink and Papery which is now Gabriella Elena Designs and what is that other shop? Meow Karoon and Co. So you'll see it in this binder which I will be showing you first. So this was actually my very first binder that I bought from Target last year and at the time this pineapple one this flamingo one and the zebra one were all like popular and everyone were, was trying to like find them and stuff like that so I'm happy that I was able to get my hands on them but they were pretty hard to find in the beginning so anyways let's just get started this is the first binder so in here I have two little two little bees I always want to say two little bees, but it's technically two lil bees. So I have two sheet protectors here. So this is a kit. This is one of her first limited edition kits. And then we have this um, right here, which I showed in a recent haul. And then the next dividers are... Um, the Paperly Boutique, so I have a kit here, another full kit here, and I have more functional items right here, as well as like a mini kit. And then the next is Sweet Kawaii Designs, and this is like filled. Um, I just have one sheet protector for her, but it has a bunch of stickers. I'm not going to take it out, but there's that. And then we have my newest addiction right here. And I just have two sheets. Um, we have Glitter Mamako. And then Nicole Alexia Designs. I have a few sheet protectors for her. And she was actually one of the um, first shops that I ordered from too. So these are like her older kit format which is pretty crazy because now she has like full kits like ultimate deluxe kits but this is what a kit looked like this was one of the pages in her kit and I believe her kits were three pages because I remember um purchasing them I'm not too sure if I have a full kit to show you but yeah so her kits came with like a sheet like this and then another sheet like this, and I'm not too sure what the other sheet looked like, but it's so crazy to see how much the shop has evolved from when they started. Oh, and this was the other sheet that was included, the third sheet. So it's so crazy. So these are like really old sheets. And then I just have a full deluxe kit. So as you can see, it's a really big difference from her older, older formats. But there's a kit. And then I have another kit here, another kit here, and then this next sheet protector is Paws Paper. So when I first started planning, I was like all about the deals and I didn't know which shops to buy from. So I remember I would just buy like Misfit bags because it was the cheapest and it's just a great way to test out a shop or try out new shops so this was all from a grab bag like I had three kits and a few functional items and then of course Cricut Paper Co so I have a kit here 
Um, again, their sheets are or were a little bit different and they're now reformatted. But this is what their sheets looked like, which is pretty crazy because now they have full kits as well. So I have a bunch of sheets in here, like so many, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might like de-stash them or whatnot. And then in here we have Frank Hearts You. So I have a full kit here and another full kit behind there. This is a, oops, everything is fine. So this is a full kit. And it, her kits are a little bit different. They are more like full covered kits instead of um, like a more functional type of kit. But they do have um, an option if you want like a more functional kit. But again, they were one of the first few shops that I ordered from last year. So what was cool was that I placed an order and they gave you a free sheet. And I'm not too sure if they do that now. When I ordered from them back in May, they did do that. So I'm... They might be doing that. Call me crazy, but I picked this up last year just to have, just in case you never know. But I think what I picked up from them last year was a holiday kit. Yeah, but look at how much their shop has changed as well. So there's that. And then next we have Ink and Papery, which is now Gabriella Elena Designs, like I said. And she isn't on Etsy anymore. She is on her own website. But she was also one of the first shops that I ordered from. And it's funny because now I am more of a kit person. When before, I just used to pick up like stickers. Like random sheets of stickers. Like these were all washi strips. Like what am I going to do with this now? I'm not too sure. So I picked up a few things from her a long time ago. Like... I don't know, I just have a bunch of random things. And then on the other side is the same Gabriella, Gabriella Elena Designs. And this is a shop I was talking about, Meow Grun and Co. And, uh, or Kitten Plans. She isn't open anymore, but I have a bunch of stickers from her. And I mentioned her stickers in my go-to sticker video. But I love like her coffee cups and her gas stickers. But she was one of the very first, I think she was the first shop that I ordered from on Etsy, which is crazy. So that is the first binder. And then the second binder, we will see what's in here. We have blank slate stickers. If you've never ordered from blank slate stickers, um, definitely do so because every Friday, she has a $5 uh, kit $5 kit deal, so you get like a 5 or 6 page full kit for 5 bucks, which is crazy. So there's that. I have Paisley Prince Co. here. Um, we have Piper Paper Company, Murdoch Talks, Then I also have some sheets from a grab bag that I picked up um, during the summer. We have the Coffee Monsters Co. here, Creating & Co., Love for Stickers, and then what else? Happy Doodle Stickers. This was also one of the very first shops I ordered from, um, but I don't really use her stickers, so I might have to de-stash that. Um, we have Libby & Co. I love her misfit bags because you get five full sheets for eight bucks which is crazy ridiculous so that's where i got most of these stickers from and they're all just cut up in half because they are huge sheets so that's just like one sheet protector of libby and co and then of course we have lexi kylie designs and this sheet protector is pretty packed like I have so many stickers from her. I love her stickers. I also found her last year uh, from buying a grab bag. And ever since then, I've been ordering from her. I just love, like, you'll see her stickers in my spreads. I love her shopping bags, um, balloons, pool days, beach days, like the barbecue set. I love them all. So there's that. And then I just have this sheet protector where I put um, my 
prizes from Mandy Plans giveaway in here because I don't have stickers from these shops. So I have Pink Paper Plain as well as Once More With Love. Can you believe I've never ordered from Once More With Love? And then we have Planning Roses here and some more stickers. And then we have the next two are Chic Street Sticker Boutique. So we have these functional things. I have a kit behind there. Another kit here. Another kit here. And another kit here. Yeah, I just, I am great at hoarding, guys. And then next binder. This is pretty filled. We have, I don't know if you can see, we have some Fox and Pip. So, in the summer, I picked up a bunch of like mini Fox and Pip sheets because I wanted to try them all out. It's kind of like a grab bag where she just cuts up a bunch of sheets and you don't know what you're getting. But I love these because I have a bunch. I mean, I mean to order from her soon, but I'm not too sure when. And then in the back here, I just have some Mandy Dreams coffee cups. And then we have some Hello Petite paper. This was her summer mystery kit. And then we have, this sleeve is Obsessed with Cute, uh, the Planner Junkie, Sticker Rific. And then these next two sheet protectors are Paper Kiss. Because I love when she does her mega, mega grab bag, mega misfits. So I literally have so many stickers. So I have this sheet protector here that's filled and then this sheet protector here it's you can see it's like sliding out but there's another sheet protector of paper kiss and then we have planner cuties she's a shop from hawaii so there's that and then we have it's planning time so this is one sheet protector and this is filled to the max because I used to be obsessed with her shop. So there's that. And then the next sheet protectors are all glam planners. So have these boxes here. This was actually one of my very first purchases from her when she um, opened up last year. And then the rest are all like mystery kits because I am subscribed. But I also have like some regular kits here. So that is the third binder. The fourth binder is, let's see, we have Paper Dove Shop here. Um, Soda Pop Studio, this was her very first mystery kit. And I just have a bunch of functional stickers here. We have Evie Lou and Co. Um, the next ones are Shop Jessica Hart. I love her kits so much. I have so many. And then this is Crafts by Thawi. Her foiled, one of her very first foiled kits. And then we have ANC stickers, and these are just all glitter headers. And then the rest are all Thumbprints Co. I was subscribed to her mystery kits. So that's why I have a bunch of kits here. Sorry for the glare, guys. So, yeah. That was the fourth binder, and the very last binder I'm going to be showing you, OMG, okay, hold up, that's how you know your sheet protector is so full because it flies out of the thing. This is the binder that I was talking about where I put um, kits in here or personal kits that I want to use in my personal planner. So let's see what we have in here. We have some Lexi Kylie Designs stuff actually a lot of stuff and some more this is another kit for the summertime pretty I love this clip art um, what else do we have in here we have another Lexi Kylie designs kit that I cut in half because her sheets are a little bit bigger we have um, the paperly boutique this is a personal kit I have a few personal kits in here actually I didn't even realize Oh, this would be good for full time. 
puts it in here. But no. See, that's how you know you're a hoarder because you don't even know what you have. And then this last sheet protector are Little Miss Papery Kids. So these are the um, format. This is the format that I was talking about where I was one sheet. So we have Mermaid, um, Independence, Summer, Bliss. This is a kit from Murdoch Talks that I didn't I used some or majority of the stickers. And then we have, what is this called? Bloom. This is Bloom. So yeah, that is all, that's all of my stickers now. So you've seen my whole sticker collection. Don't judge me, don't judge me. I'm sure everyone hoards stickers, right? Well guys, that is the remainder of my sticker collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait for the next because I will be showing you guys my new sticker storage and I'll be setting it up on camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.